Guru Gobind Singh. So he was the tenth Sikh Guru and the last Sikh Guru. He became the Sikh Guru at the age of nine after the assassination of his father Guru Tegh Bahadur, who is the ninth Sikh Guru. He was assassinated by Aurangzeb. Guru Gobind Singh was born on twenty second December. Sixteen hundred and sixty-six, and was died at the age of forty-two in the year seventeen not eight. He introduced five Ks for Sikh. Those are Kesh, the uncut hair, Kanga, the wooden comb, Kara, iron or steel bla- bracelet worn on the wrist, and fourth one is Kirpan. It is sword. Fifth is Kachera. It is a short breeches. You can see over here. So the Kesh. Kanga, the wooden comb, Kirpan, the the sword, and Kachera, the short breeches, and Kara, the bracelet, which is made up of iron or steel. So these are the five Ks which are introduced by the Guru Gobind Singh. He was a great poet. He was a great philosopher, warrior, and some of his literary contributions are the Sham Granth. So these were the hymns. Which are sacred part for Sikh prayers and Kalsa rituals, and the other literary works are Jab Sahib, Benti Chaupai, Amrit Savai, etc. So all these are some of his literary contributions. His major contribution was Kalsa. Before that, he fought many battles with Mughal. The most important contribution done by him was. He founded Kalsa, a Sikh warrior community, in sixteen hundred and ninety-nine. Here, Kalsa means pure. The Kalsa warriors should follow all the five Ks. All the five Ks are Kesh, Kanga, Kara, Karpan, and Kachera. So, all these five Ks should be followed by the Kalsa warriors. And the Kalsa warriors should stay away from tobacco. alcohol meat and these uh, warriors are highly disciplined and the du- and duty bound to protect the innocent people from persecution the skalsa tradition was responsible for converting the six to the strong and disciplined army and led to the establishment of the sikh empire under the maharaja ranjit singh in the year 1799 So this is about Guru Gobind Singh